ladies and gentlemen. The Kids in the Room Podcast. The Kids in the Room Podcast. That's right. That's right. Brought to you by Moo Faces. TV. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Kids in the Room Podcast. Today, we've got Daryl Davis on the show. Yeah, let's go. Daryl Davis, what's going on? Yeah. All right. Pretty good, man. Doing well, man. How about yourself, brother? Uh, yeah, man. Just doing doing good, man. Just uh, got back from a little bit of wool traveling, having a, you know, a good time and you know, spiritual, cultural That's experience, awesome, you know, doing things, living life, you know, you know, trying to get out of the, the whole Absolutely, as we COVID should. stink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, man. That was big stink. <laughs> definitely a big stink, man. So, so Daryl, what, what, what's going on? What, what are you working on? What do you, what, what's, what's going on in your pipeline? Oh, man, I got a few things, man. Uh, I got a little hiatus uh, release song that I'm about to drop this Friday, actually. Um, a lot of music stuff, a lot of introspective things, uh, kind of a lot, man. Work, work as usual, you know, a little mixture of all. Work, work, work. Got to work, work, work. Rihanna. Yeah, totally. Got it. Uh, yeah, got to. <laughs> yeah, man. So, I mean, like, and I, I think we, you know, we were talking a little bit and, you know, you were, you know, you were definitely interested in, you know, chatting about, you know, extraterrestrials, life, spirituality, things like that. Different things beside, you know, your, your music tip. Cause you said you dug into a bunch of stuff. So I just said, Hey, you know what? I, I met this guy before hung out with him a couple of times and you know, the East coast. So I was just like, you know, what? let me link him, bring him on. He sounded like he, he, he has something to say. So let's have a conversation about that. Yeah, man. So what, so what's your belief with, what's your belief on extra, extraterrestrials? Well, man, uh, you know, uh, I believe that, uh, that some entities, you know, we, we can't really uh, pick up on and, um, you know, they, they have different names as Tom has shown, uh, some might call them demons. Some might call them, uh, they've even said angels or, you know, a lot of different things. But uh, they really couldn't just explain some things that I think we all kind of know. I didn't want to just all keep it on a spiritual level or, you know, a religious level. But I do believe that there were and are um, entities and beings that have visited before and that uh, some, I think, currently are still here and influence a lot of our, our regular human lives, if you will. And how do you think that? What ways do you think that they influenced? Well, uh, you know, not trying to go too crazy out there, but uh, I think, you know, we have a large Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. You're not trying to go crazy? Being a human being. You got to go crazy. Yeah, well, yeah, you got to go crazy. Go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, as long as you give me permission, I'll go crazy. Get, get crazy with it. it. Do it. Be yourself. All right. Well, you know, I think that uh, there's a large gap, and I think humans as, as a species, we have amnesia, and um, I think they, they don't know how to explain or admit that but we figure out ways to to go through life and we have textbooks and we have history but that's still one one vision and one view from it so uh there's a lot of gaps and hidden things that aren't really being discussed and i think that as a species we have some some questions that we want answered you know what what, what are we really here for what's our you know what's our destiny and um a lot of ancient civilizations you know I've, I've done a lot of research and that's one of my biggest things that got me into this conversation was uh where do we get from like where do we come from how do we get here uh empires you know we've had we've seen a lot come and go but a lot of them uh have a, a similar story saying that you know that the knowledge they learned came from the sky you know that they were taught this and um these aren't you know some ragdoll small civilizations they were like you know they were the ones that we still learn from to this day and they all had the same story and i think that's something that we should kind of dig a little deeper in when they keep saying they came from the sky and they have similar reptile statues they have similar deities that are snake related um and these civilizations for all we know never met and they all flourished at different times so i just think that's kind of interesting in that maybe they were trying to explain something that we call divine but maybe it was technology or people that came down to told them something so hmm interesting so like, if who, that's a good start. Who, who would you who would you say, for example? Yeah, it's a great fucking start. Who would you say, for example, you know, did these kind of things in in our previous history? Um, for one, uh, you know, going way back, you know, the Sumerians and and uh, some of those earliest uh, forms of civilizations that we have to date, you know, back to the Kings List days. A lot of those uh, things, you know, they were saying this is factual. Um, that some some of these guys back then they were called deities or whatever, but they said they lived for thousands of years and. And they documented it and they have lists about it. Um, and I think that a lot of the things they were trying to say is that maybe these people weren't from this place or maybe they really were, um, you know, the gods that we consider calling them gods. But uh, they, they wrote about it a lot. Um, and even in some of the empires, I'll give an example. 
uh, the Mayans, you know, a lot of them, uh, a lot of their calculations and their universal knowledge, um, people still are perplexed with, um, that they got it to the decimal with certain um, calculations, uh, you know, even the astrology and things that they mastered. Um, they said they didn't even own it. They said, hey, they were they came down and gave us this knowledge, you know, we learned it. So I took from that and I kept going into other cultures and seeing how there were a lot of similarities in a lot of the masonry, um, a lot of polygonal masonry, a lot of things that didn't make sense, like blocks that looked like they were melted together. And I started seeing a lot of that uh, reoccurring in a lot of older civilizations. And I said, I think it might have been the same people given the same knowledge at different times. That's where I kind of really started getting into. What do you mean by the the blocks? Say that again. What's going on with the blocks? Yeah. So, uh, so as we learned, uh, we still can't explain a lot of structures and ancient architecture that we still see to this day, um, and that's across the board in India, uh, especially. There are magnificent features and uh, stonework that you know some people take the credit for, it and some people that I feel like we just create the credit. Like even in Roman times, there were blocks that were thousands of tons that were already like foundation, I believe. And I think they just built upon it. Um, the Romans never took credit for some of these blocks, but we just assumed that that came from the Roman empire, but the blocks themselves, I think were much older. And I think that they were just sites that they knew were special. So they utilized it. Um, even though Roman concrete is one of the concrete. Is when you say the, blocks, are the, you talking about the, the large stones? Yeah, like not even just the building stones, but even the platforms. Those are the things that we really don't discuss. Like even the Giza Plateau, you need foundation for these enormous uh, stru uh, structures to exist. And the, the ground themselves, if you really look down instead of up, which is what they don't discuss, you see these were enormous blocks. It wasn't just like cement paved over some gra like ground, they were blocks and they're still existing. They had to hold down that much weight, um, which is also magnificent. So I also just think there were blocks that were there before those empires took heed and took place. Um, and we can go into detail about what I meant with the polygonal masonry, but uh, there's blocks, uh, for instance, uh, um, I guess Machu Picchu, uh, Puma Punku, a lot of these sites they have uh, when I say polygonal, it means they're not just regular blocks or like rectangles. Like one, they're they're odd shaped and they all fit perfectly together. And that's uh, for a designer or an architect. I don't see what the purpose of that would be outside of just showing people that you can do it. I don't see why it would take a lot more work to do that. <laughs> it, it seems like it's, it's showing how advanced and that they had actually had technology, I believe, at some point. Uh, other, I mean, there's laser cut precision blocks that we can go into detail about that, you know, if you put a magnifying glass in it, you could see that they had rotary, you know, rotary power tools to do these things. Um, so it's kind of crazy. I know I'm sound like I'm getting out there, but um, I, it amazed me how deep down the rabbit hole I went before I realized that um, there's some answers that we really need, you know, some questions we don't have answered. And they're just saying that's the same couple of civilizations who did it. And I don't believe that's the case at all. I believe there was a very old civilization that was uh the corporate for a lot of these sites i believe right i mean what do you think about the olmex is that right? wild <laughs> no nah, not wild at all what do you think about the yeah, olmex there you go. to be honest uh i i believe a similar thing i, I believe that they were really ancient um i would ask you actually what do you believe in it because i haven't dived a lot into that per se or um them itself but so i would actually yeah so cool yeah so from 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 what we gather and what I've what I've gathered, what I kind of know about the Olmecs is they are pre Mesoamericans, um, which were before mm -hmm. the uh, current uh, Native American ancestors um, that you know exist existed in you know predominantly in Mexico and Central America around that area in general. Um, and nice. so, so they had built these large you know stones you know of their own faces that were just carved, and they were found many years ago yeah. just literally bare. I remember that. Yeah, and and their 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 phenotypes, you know, uh, represent or physically, you know, uh, look more like uh, uh, Africans per se. Um, I think there was uh, there you go. some of the people actually gave one of the stones or some type of present back to like Ethiopia or something else like that because they were trying to pay homage to that. You know, these stones, you know, were you know from yeah. that from that area. Um, so w what's more yeah. what's more intriguing is you know. You know, a, a lot of the Aztec, the Mayans, they were all talking about these stars and, you know, and the, you know, they were talking about these stars and how they, you know, they were taught these things and these people were coming back and they've been waiting for these things. And it's like, 
at some point, like, yeah, when is it? When is it bullshit? You know, and when is it not? You know, is it like? There you go. Is it? <laughs> is it bullshit? That's a good question. Um, I don't believe it is, man. Um, because you know, a lot of people, you know, they they want to throw everything in the pseudoscience and they want to call everything, uh, you know, uh, you know, as you would call it, tenfold and all the extraness. But uh, I believe that there's something in between. Like the silver lining where they were literally, this wasn't a storytelling, you know, it wasn't like, I think they want us to think this is an art form where they were expressing themselves like artistically. I don't think so. Um, they went out of their way to keep reminding you and paying that homage. Um, so that's their written way of saying, no, this is a document. Like we believe this and we've been saying this same story for thousands of years. This isn't a, this ain't, you know, Jen, Jack and Jill went up the hill. This is what our ancestors and their, their ancestors before told them. And um, and that's a cool story that you mentioned about the statue and um, and the you know the the features of it because uh, if you really go and look at you know if it's hard to for people to dispute a lot of things you know I saw it online or I read it you know or I saw a YouTube clip but um if you have somebody that's just at the site and they're just showing you footage on their phone or you know from an actual camera I mean then it's like okay well I'm not there physically but I I have common sense you know so. Uh, I, I see a lot of things that don't add up and I see a lot of similarities as well with noses like you were saying that those features are very distinct and I noticed a lot of times even in uh, Egypt the noses are missing or scratched off a lot of hieroglyphics and shot off of statues or ripped apart um, I just find that funny too taking it to where it's not you know empirical but I think that there's a, a universal proof that you know a lot of these people uh, pay homage for a reason to certain people <laughs> and I think that we uh that that global civilization that flourished um i mean if even going back in the science and what we've already proven it did start in africa and um i think that i can go even scarier about atlantis and my theory with that and and uh where i think it could be located secretly let's least. talk so, about atlantis let's talk about atlantis let's do it yeah man so uh i recently you know was kind of digging and saw something that uh strike my eye it was uh, a guy actually a really nice uh famous youtuber who who really does his uh, fact checking in his own way and uh, is real knowledgeable. He goes to a lot of the places that he even puts on the show, but he showed a, a Google map image of a place on the west side of uh, Africa. It was kind of near, you know, the coast, um, but it had similar features of what the descriptions of Atlantis were, you know, in uh, in some of the writing. So um, it was a, a like a ring, you know, ring within a ring within a ring. But then they were also saying how they believe that it could have dried up um, versus it actually collapsing into the water. And that that could be and that it could actually be right in front of our face in Africa, like just, you know, our remnants of it. And um, and then it was they were doing some of the like location of it. And they were kind of saying, you know, if you look in the writings, they were like explaining what uh, was it, Plato? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Plato who originally heard who, the story uh, in Egypt. He went yeah. to Egypt and he um, heard the story. Yes. And, yeah. And so, you know, I, I believe uh, if I'm not mistaken, that some of the some of the uh, details that he was explaining where the location could be. Um, the guy went into depth about, right. you know, it was like this, it was like this near type the, of mountain. The, Her of, the Hercules, yeah, of, the Pillars was, of Hercules, which is right out of Spain, between yeah. Spain and Africa, yeah, there, once you get to you the go. ocean of the Atlantic Ocean, which is funny that we call it Atlantic there versus Atlantis. Yeah, it was like a lot of, it was a lot of cool, uh, and I want to sound like I, I didn't extensively research it, but I saw enough and read enough to what I wanted to uh, Grab out take it. on it. And right. I just think that, some, yeah, so sometimes I feel like, and I don't know why academia does what they do for a reason. Um, I still try to understand why people don't really step out of the box just to kind of for curiosity's sake. You know, it's not disrespectful to academia to say, hey, well, this doesn't really add up. Or can you explain this to me? Or these dates don't add up. Um, but I think that's um, that African story I just <laughs> mentioned about Atlantis. I, um, I definitely do think that Atlantis could have, I think it did exist in its own way. I don't know the extent of how, but um. I'll give you a, another example. Um, I just think that some things that we try to bury, uh, some things you can't, and they're right in front of your face. And um, I'll ask you, what do you think about the Sphinx? Uh, side note. Um, what do I think about the Sphinx? In what way? What do you mean? Like, what question? More context. Uh, so features, which the first obvious point, the head. Oh, I mean. Um, and like, why the head is so disproportionate. I mean, you know, there's different rumors in history. You know, there's. There's the whole that it's, it's it's natural weather that tear things down. There's the Napoleon, you know, thing of, you know, coming into Egypt and, you know, discovering these phenotypes and just wanting to do, destroy these type of features because of, you know, colonialism and this whole structure of, of a great yep. culture and, you know, re, yep. re redesigning and reimagining 
you know, Europe as the greatest nation that ever existed. And, you know, even yep. though that there is not go. necessarily true, um, it's been redesigned to be so, right? I mean, there you the, the Romans there you go. That's, came well, into... That's my take on it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you look back in history, most, yeah. of, most of Europe at a time was not very civilized. It was the Roman Empire that was, you know, the civilized or quote unquote, what we consider yeah. civilized. The city um, on the hill. Yes. Yeah. But, but all the other places, all the different Germanic tribes and different things like that were just living like in, in, in fucking huts and shit and, you know, caves and shit. I mean, it was, <laughs> yeah. it was literally like that. Yeah, they, they were mind blown. Right. But they then, were mind blown. Yeah, yeah, but then the Romans came in and they, they started building out infrastructure and they copied and pasted these infrastructures within these other, you know, tribes yeah. within Europe. And then they just, you know, and then these tribes you know, learned the Roman ways and then they started copying and pasting what they were doing. Once they learned those ways and it, you know, it created a culture, it created this, this, this type of yeah. colonized system within Europe. And then eventually those places became countries and they became, you know, their own infrastructures and different things like that. And then you have the Moors that came in and helped yeah. build different cathedrals and yeah, you know, there you conquered go. Spain and there stuff like go. that. And there was Saint this and Saint that yeah. there was, there was a bunch of like, you know, this, this back and forth thing between, you know, uh, this Northern African nation, even some of these, you know, um, Southern African nations that were back and forth within the Mediterranean mm -hmm. for thousands of years, um, if we want to go yep. talking about that. But, you know, at that time, the civilizations yep. that were more modern existed within the Mediterranean in general, or even Southern Africa, um, which, yeah. which we don't see as, as strong as they were at those times. And there's a lot of systems and yeah, structures that sure. go into place right now. To, to, to why these yeah. you know why there's been like a slowdown you know of, of prosperous yeah. prosperity right of growth you know um, yeah for sure a, a very obvious one yeah so and some that, of that yeah man, blowing up noses and shit and, just, and things like that I think that all comes, yeah. comes back from those reasons to slow yeah. down this 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 whole thing and who knows how the fucking Olmex you know skulls were, were buried you know maybe somebody yeah. came and they found them and said what the fuck is this let's bury this shit you know yeah there you go i mean it's like hey nah we can't how do we destroy this you got some tnt nah or you know whatever like you said burying is another way or throwing it in the i mean on the ocean like you don't, you got two options that that might benefit you for the longest um yeah man i just think it's kind of cool man just with the like you were saying with the water erosion aspect um in the in theory uh and noticing how many times the sphinx has been buried um through time you know up to where its neck is you know in photos and other things and uh, how there's casting stones at the base that you can tell they were trying to restore more so. And that's what's, scary. that's what's not scary, but really cool about history. When somebody finds something that they think is, you know, oh, man, this is this is cool. They don't how, they don't know how long it was and since it was last discovered before them. So they make it their own. And I think that the original head obviously was re, uh, re-structured to look like it is now with the feral head. Um, that's why it's so um, not proportional to the body. Um, I think it was a jackal or a lion, whichever. I'm not 100%, obviously, but I think it's really cool that it shows you through history why I brought up the building block stones anyway. Like, they build on the things that they already admire, you know, that they think were awesome. So when you take that theory and, you know, there's some, yeah, with people who have carbon dated some things at the site, if they want to say that, um, and they say the water erodes, and they brought in actual geologists and other people and scientists who would say against what academia said initially, and it was like, hey, man, this water, this is water erosion, not sand erosion. And they were saying, you know, that means this, this sphinx had to be here for a time when it had rainfall that was this in, in, uh, intense where it could slowly wither down. And also goes to show you how most of the erosion is at the top versus the base, which shows it's covered up. And, the, you know, so it just shows you how old it really is. So that alone and how academia stands by um, the rhetoric is what really got me into these type of topics. And I was trying to, um, you know, peel back some of the, the veil and want to understand what it, what's there to hide or like, what is the biggest fear? Um, it's not about, yeah, it's, it's not, not about one. was, you know? Right. I mean, you know? I think it's like, what, what's, what's funny is we keep, you know, history keeps on, you know, we're always discovering it. We're always exploring it no matter what it is. And it, the problem about education is history isn't updated live. Right. So we keep things in books yes, absolutely. for like, Additions. Yeah, for like 20 or 30, 40 years, the same shit. And we found out like a day ago it was wrong. So it's like we, but we're, we're still teaching people stuff. This is a problem about history. It's like we try to institutionalize it or systematically structure it to be its copy and paste. 
But the it, problem is, is history yeah. we're always discovering is like, oh, wow, well, we believe this was happening. Well, well, this didn't happen. Now we have DNA and it discovered that this is not reality. So it's like a lot of these there conversations and discoveries can easily be dismissed. But it's like, how do we how do we update these things live? And I think that's what we should be doing yes. live. We're talking about Christopher Columbus, but we know that Leif Erikson was there 500 yep. some odd years before him. You know, and then it's like, you know, there you go. We, we talk about, you know, the Egyptians and, you know, people, you know, have, have been saying like, oh, yeah, you know, they didn't have ships. You know, how could Omex and stuff like this possibly have gotten there and traded with them? There's no way they didn't have boats or ships like this. But, you know, my biggest thing is, you know, hey, let's do it. The Egyptians could build pyramids, but they couldn't build fucking Thanks. ships. The Egyptians could build pyramids, That's crazy. but they couldn't build ships. But yet, this you know the, the the certain European countries could, they could fucking sell. Yeah, they couldn't build pyramids, but they could build ships. Doesn't make any sense, right? Yeah. Rationally, it doesn't make sense. And we know that the no. Egyptians did have ships. No. But they're saying, I think a lot of yeah. people have said, and, and and I'm not sure if this is even updated, that they didn't have ships to actually discover America, you know, or make it that through that long you know passage or voyage, which is just and and that it's, that it's ridiculous. Helps, that helps back up the the institutionalized things they've already presented that helps keep it going i mean if it's not broke and broke is also a, a term you shouldn't use but if it ain't broke don't fix it then you know it's like i mean no it, it needs to be fixed it needs to be correct that's the right thing to do um and like you said it's like water history is always constantly evolving and, and you know we're relearning it all the time so it's like why wasn't it immediately updated and yeah you can't go and white out something in a book i think that i think the reason daryl is is that there's systems and structures and hierarchies in, in our system, our Western world. And it, it promotes, you know, yeah. um, you know, colonialism. And so anything yeah. that goes against colonialism is, 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 a, is a detractor. There you go. Right. So it's like now you're talking now you're, yep. you're killing the you're killing the narrative because, you know, we need to yep. keep colonialism in these caste like systems and the separation within America going and these hierarchies. And when you start bringing out other truths, that everybody's the same and everybody's equal and shit like this, but you know everybody has contributed massively to the world and things like there that. We can't divide things. Then it starts getting really like, holy shit! People start getting aware. People start waking up and people start realizing who yeah. they are. And then shit just just like shit just gets weird. So it starts breaking the structure. Of, <laughs> oh yeah. Of it definitely gets these weird, people man. came from you know slave ships. I saved them, and they don't have any history. All this other shit like this, and it's just I'll like, make it for him. yeah. But then it's just like it's yeah. it, it's 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 literally, it's literally uh, mind-boggling the ignorance and arrogance of people in general, not just one types of people, yeah. but everybody in general. Like people that think like, hey, you know, different groups of you know people were only here and you know for you know were only sophisticated or only did something maybe like within the past two four hundred years. But it's like, what was before that? You know, what was before Thank that? You. Where did the, where did that person come from? And then if you start talking about people who have descendants of those, you know, African-American or, you know, slaves in general to the Americas, which there was more slaves sent to, Afri uh, sent to Latin America than the United States, which is something a lot of there people don't go. know. Um, they don't talk about that. <laughs> well, because, I mean, this this is an, another part of a narrative, you know, because it wants to think yeah. this victim system within the United States that all these people who have this descendants, you know, obviously – were you know need to be oppressed so they just keep on pushing the shit back in their brain so their history and their pride is taken away and they just think nothing about themselves but bullshit you know there's it, yeah uh, slave and, hut and amnesia I, I, yeah sorry uh, yeah I was saying just like you said amnesia is a scary is a is 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 serious man and I was speaking on humankind but even in other things culturally amnesia is uh is strong. And, um, you know, and like you said, uh, having it burned and, or destroyed or recreated, um, it's, it gets scary. And it, like you said, it still pushes the narrative of um, the whole idea of being a um, colonizer and, and what we what we stand for is mankind. Uh, it, it's getting lost in translation. And uh, and I also think it's an awakening period, which I hate people that use the term woke. That's just my personal thing. But <laughs> it's it's also just one of those things where, like you said, the, the audacity to think you're the first ones to create. Um, any type of sophistication or any type of working, and if anything, we're building off the things that they show were already uh, were already possible, and um, whether that be a structure or whether that be architecture or whether that be um, ideology, 
Um, I just think that it's kind of unfortunate that we're in these times where information is so um, easily well, accessible. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that's even weird, right? I mean, here's the thing, right? Yeah. You know, everybody's the same. You know, everybody's Homo sapiens. Everybody's humans, right? Everybody's fucking the yeah. same. It's like, the, but this colonialist structure tries to teach people that they're different, and so people are consistently trying to count their their team. And you know, it's like yeah. even going abroad and then coming back. It's just like so it's that fucking people here just are counting what group do you belong to or how many groups do you belong to or which which class, category man. can they put you in? Well, I don't even know if it's just I fucking class, class because it's like class is more like about, you know, money. Right. This is yeah. about like this, this is about colonialism, about structure of like phenotypes. You know, what features do you look like more? Who do you which group do you belong to? Oh, what defines, do you belong to what the fonts pretty or what the fonts? Right. Or yeah, just in, that's scary. this, this that's, whole idea. A different time, right. Yeah. This whole idea of, of this racial structure that's not really fucking real, you know, but it's like it's 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 trained for people so they can stay, stay in these teams. But I, I just yeah. you, you, it's just weird because it's kind of scary. That's it's scary yeah. as fuck because people live like this daily yeah. here. And you, like you go overseas yeah. and people yeah. aren't living like that. And then you come here and, and people are just like thinking like this 24 seven in these little groups. This person is like this. Yeah. Collectively, all these people like this are like this. And this person is like this. And it's like, what the fuck? Overseas, nobody's fucking caring about that shit. Oh, does this person like me because That's I don't look like them? And will their parents like me? Nobody's fucking thinking about this. They're thinking about other things. Yeah, like, like, what do you think about me as a person? Right. Do you know who I am right. as a human being? Right. Like, now, what I stand for? Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, There's other things like religious and financial classifications yeah. that do exist overseas in certain yeah, countries sure. and things like that. But it's mostly just that. But it's not fucking what type of group do I want to you know, sign you up for? And we think you're different. It's, it's more like nationalism in religion. Versus United States, where everybody's They're, not yeah. really a nationality. Everybody's like these little nationalities within a nationality. It's like subgroups. Yeah. And this is why it's a yeah, divided country are. instead of just being They're the king of subgroups. <laughs> American. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I just, it, it's fascinating. Sorry. <laughs> no, it is, man. Um, I and you know, like, and uh, you know, just with so many other things, man. Like, uh, with that in itself, um, it is fascinating, but it's also kind of sad because it's like, uh. As far as humans go, what's the end game? Um, um, like, what do you yourself think the end game would be? Like, what? Like, what are we like? What's the What's the goal that that's uh, that these people are these structures that are the people that are in charge of these structures? What do you think they are promoting or want to accomplish? At the end of the day, if it's not mankind or the betterment of you know all Homo sapiens, not just one phenotype, what do you think? Wow, that's a deep question. I think I think I don't think yeah. it's thought about that and I don't think it's thought about that deeply, but it is. And I just think like there's this whole like initiative of like rewriting, you know, what what Homo sapiens look like. There you go. That's that's to be, a good one. To be deep about that's it. That's scary. What does a Homo sapien yeah. look like? Our, and it's like who whoever can be that dominant visual of what a human looks like. I think that is where yeah. what what like the, the, like the like the pro, the architect what is it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, it's scary. And also, I feel like why, if you're going that hard at something, like if you're that adamant about, like, if that's what matters so much, what if it's like somebody saw something that they didn't like, which we obviously already discussed? Like, what if it was like, but the, the, the story that was written that we don't know that wasn't told to us, what if the story does coincide with the phenotypes that they that don't match what the narrative is? And what if that alone is like, what if that's like, you know what? We're going to go so hard against that because that wouldn't benefit the structure that we're still building if we let the knowledge be told that the people that did these amazing things, all of them are, you know, are the ancients really are. They look like this um, and they did these great things and we still well, can't do it. Well, here's and the maybe thing. just admitting like I can't do it. Right. I mean, you know, it, you know, you can you could subscribe to it however you want. But I think at the end of the day, it's really like. You know, yeah, I was touching it. I was how do you it <laughs> how, how do you get? It's okay. It's like how do you uh, how do you give glorification to you know uh, or, or separation or how do you create this division within you know colonialisms you know with within phenotypes and these little groups? How yeah. do you create this division and then later say, oh fuck, 
a part of this fucking game that we made up and we're pushing and promoting to all the people, not just one, but everybody. They're brainwashing yeah. everybody to think themselves yeah. as an, a, a group or a color. Everybody. Maybe they're white or maybe they're this and none of that yeah. shit really exists like that. Yeah. You know, maybe I should just describe you by your ears. You know, oh, you're the, you're the small ear people. You know, maybe I should fucking describe you <laughs> by, by your fucking nose. Anybody with noses like yours yeah, is this people. Maybe I should just say, you know, all the tall people only hang over here, so only tall people fucking procreate, so now everybody's tall. I mean, this is it literally might, what it is. It might as well be that, that stupid. I mean, it, 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 might, it is as stupid well as that, that. Not stupid. It might as well be that ridiculous. It is as stupid as that. You know? It, it is as stupid as that. It's yeah. literally as <laughs> stupid as that. It's very stupid, But man. people uh, aren't, people aren't. You know, it's it's kind of. But, but Daryl, people aren't fucking woke, right? People aren't woke. They're there still claiming yeah. groups. They're still claiming <laughs> fucking teams. You know, this 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 person's yeah, lives matter. This person's lives matter. This is the, the, and I understand at a certain point because some people it's, have to do it to survive. You know, you know. Yeah, it's, man. It's yeah. It's a coping mechanism. It's sad to say that. Like, it's but, so sad to say that, man. But, but this but know. this narrative, Daryl, is being pushed also by fucking media because the media wants to push fair. It wants to fucking push fair. It wants people to be like, oh, yeah. shit, the cops are all going to kill you. And it gets them promoting and, and yeah. dividing themselves even more instead of thinking like, hey, wait, this isn't fucking everybody. This is a couple fucking crazy yeah. ass cops that are doing this shit and, and selectively fucking hunting people down go. so they can push a narrative and get this there fear shit getting back in the system. So then all these yeah. people are going to be like, oh, shit, they're after me. And fear, if we haven't learned anything in history or from all these books, the art of whatever, like, Fear is like, what else can you do to make sure you, you, you know, that's, that's the last resort. I mean, it, it's worked so well for so long in human, uh, and it's, it's in our human nature, like fear and, um, they push it and it works. I mean, it, it works. The, the proof is in the numbers. And like you said, I mean, when is it ever just going to be like, where you just say, you know what, fear isn't enough anymore. You know, like that's not good enough. Um, what you're saying isn't good enough. What, what I'm reading isn't good enough. I feel in my heart and soul, none of this is good enough. So, and you know, a lot of us, luckily, um, I can tell we have, we've reached a point to where, whether it's a, a, a scribe thing or an achieve thing, um, I came across knowing, you know, this ain't it, you know, this isn't it. I mean, um, is it, and it's I, I, our I, duty, if you want to say, uh -huh. yeah, just, I think it's our, I don't know. Do you think it's our responsibility or our duty to like, to say this isn't it? And to, I think, we have I think, I think if you, I think if you have some, some, some inch of fucking, you know, uh, of, 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 of common sense. <laughs> and, and, you, and you are saying that yeah. you're fucking woke, that you're really woke. A lot of these people walking around saying that yeah. they're woke. They're not woke. They're fucking, they're still playing by the system. That's why I don't use, I hate that. It's, yeah. it's colonialist. You can't be woke into, when you can't yeah. woke and speak of a colonialistic structure and say you're woke, you're still calling yourself a colonialistic name. You're not woke. You you, you, you you package yourself in a group. How are you woke if you package yourself as there in you a go. product with that's made within this colonialistic structure? You're a colonialistic you person created from a system of col colonialism, and you're saying you're woke because you're supporting this group that is created by colonialists. It no. doesn't really exist. It's just humans. Yeah, there you it's go. Just fucking humans. Wow. It doesn't matter what you look like. There, you're fucking yeah, humans. There. Wow. I never thought of it that way. We're I already Americans. Term, but I never thought of. It. Yeah. Everybody's American, Very, man. Fucking yeah. be American. You go overseas, you're yeah. fucking American. <laughs> you're fucking American. Yeah, man. This, be an American. This, doesn't matter where our grandparents came from, whatever country, what island. Doesn't they, matter. You're fucking American. There you go. It's a, it matters. No matter what color you are, you're fucking matter. American. No. Yeah, you would think that should be enough. You would think people should be happy to see another American. Like, hey, man, how was your day? Hey, we're, hey, we're paying taxes together. We're doing this together. If somebody attacked... We're probably stre like stressed out together. Like, you know, I feel like they they, they pull that card whenever it's necessary. I feel like it's it's um, pros and know, cons sadly. of having a system, Daryl. I feel like it's pros and cons of having a system yeah. that allows freedom, and it's like freedom of religion, freedom of that. So you have all these different freedoms, and then you have all these yeah. different subgroups, and you have this colonialistic structure that has been created since the beginning of Americas. So everybody, it, it's a plot. You know, there, there's no there's no there's no mystery that people were you know, hey, look. You know, for, for example, you have, you know, certain cultures within the United States. They might call them the so-called, you know, blacks or African-Americans. But how many fucking mm -hmm. names does, does it go through, through, you know, fucking 400 years? It's ridiculous. And then hey, why, why not actually... That, thank you, man. Wh but why not call them by... Thank you. Why not call them by a historical name that Europeans knew them? Why not call them fucking Moors? There you go. Now you're talking. But you know why? You know why There's you don't fucking call that. them? There's a reason for that. Why is that reason? 
You can tell them. Yeah. Oh, them. do you want me to tell? I will tell them. Here's my fucking hypothesis. My reasoning is, if you tell the you you, you tell these fucking people, you know that they they didn't come from anywhere. You erase their fucking memory. You know, you forget about these Moorish fucking laws that our founding fathers were created on. This country was created by a lot of Moorish shit. Look on your dollar bills. This is, these are Moorish yep. symbols. And these Moorish people were, bing, bing, you know, bing. in Europe a long time, and they were ruling Europe a lot of for for a decent period of time for yep. certain countries, for example, building cathedrals and shit like this. Yep. You know, and their faces and their structures are sitting up. But the problem is, these fucking guys were kind of fucking dark. You know, they were kind of dark. You know, and it's like if there if, you if, go. If now there's this new structure of colonialism kicking in, they don't fit the narrative. So it's like, oh, we're not going to fucking call them this. And also, you can't enslave them more. Do you know there's yeah, an actual? We've come too far. Do you know there's actually a law <laughs> that you can't enslave a more? Oh man. Yeah, you you're like in South wow. Carolina right now. If you go right there and you look that shit up, there's oh a, yeah, man, I'm in the Moorish yeah. Act. The Moorish Act in South Carolina. You can't enslave a more. You can't enslave them more. So if every if all those people knew that they were Moors and they fucking confirmed that they were Moors, they couldn't enslave them. <sighs> Legal. And we know what. So you fucking with their minds. That, that was beat their that asses. Was, that call was him, one of those. Call him Toby. <laughs> call him Toby, and just beat them over again. They don't yeah, know their names. They don't go. know their religion. They don't know where they came from. They teach their there kids they go. came from nowhere, and it's it's brilliant. And then you just brainwash That's everybody scary, in America. Man. With education. It's very, oh, it's genius, man. Now, I will say, uh, I, pr- I got to give hats off, man. I've I had a lot of uh, very uh, enlightened nights where I'll just let my brain wander. And um, I'll have to give props, man. I was like, wow, you know, the shit worked. I mean, the shit, the shit worked. Um, uh, I mean, and it's, it's scary how well the shit worked. I mean, I is mean, it, I, we, is it really scary? My, some of my friends would say they were hooping, if you will. <laughs> but, but, but wait, wait, is it really scary? I mean, a couple of guys who were in power just sat around through years of history. You know, they knew what the Romans did to them, and then they just kind of figured that out. A couple of countries and some leaders within those countries just said, hey, fuck, how do we fucking, you know, brainwash people and just, you know, push this this whole new narrative and control different places anytime we go anywhere, and we'll sell on fucking boats, and we'll tell them we're Jesus and God, and then we'll show them a picture of Jesus and we'll fucking look go. closer to me. And so what does that course it's, correspond? So it, it, say, it, hey, it pushes the narrative. You got an option. You got two options. We're going to get down or we're going to put you on top of one of these slowly. <laughs> we're going to. So, yeah, I mean, it's not scary. Yeah. <laughs> You're God. Well, there you go. Yeah. I, you know, it, you know, it's like, hey, we believe in this strongly. But uh, if you don't, I mean, then by law, oh uh, no, by by divine, uh, you know, it, we, we can kill you. And that's OK, because it's in divine spirits. So, yeah, I'm not saying when I say scary, it's not I, I'm not going to say it's amazing because I'm not giving any terms like that. No, it's it's nothing uh, amazing about any of it. It's it's not like you said, it's it's kind of generic. Um, it's just, you know, it's you got to it first. I mean, you, you, you started it off first, man. And, you know, it is what it is for now. Um, and it's, it's and the history repeats itself. It do, I mean, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just in different forms. I just believe that. Everybody is inherently, you know, and is, is fucking the same. And this whole narrative to divide people and think that they're different cultures and they're different races and shit. It's yes. like, it's stupid. But people play these imposter syndrome every it day. Is. So for me, I feel like life is just a fucking game. It's a game because everybody's just making up shit. Nothing's real. It is. Everybody's making up there's these, these races, these groups, these teams. They're not real. It's all fucking man-made. And people are prescribing to that shit. It doesn't matter what somebody yeah. fucking looked like who created something. Just talk about it. But it matters when you make a game up and say yes. you're on the blue team, you're on the red fucking team. There you go. So now it matters. There you go. That's what matters. But I'm going to tell you something yes, really fucking spooky. And that, and that, so it, that goes back. Yeah, it does. But I'm going to tell you something really fucking spooky and odd that I, when yeah. I was over in Turkey, I went to uh, you know the house where you know supposedly Mary or Jesus' mom and uh, Joseph – supposedly uh, escaped with Saint, I think it was Saint John, Saint John, I think they said, or something like that, um, escaped them uh, yeah. from out of, like, you know, uh, from the Romans and whoever was trying to kill, you know, uh, any of Jesus's, like, family members or supposedly some, what I was told at that time. And they escaped with supposedly this Saint John guy, or whatever, and he took him to Turkey. Well, what is now modern-day Turkey. And um, there, there was this fucking, like, little area, and this is where they supposedly... Um, where, where St. John said he lastly was at and, you know, things like that. And supposedly she lived in this fucking house. But the odd thing was 
is as I was going into the fucking house, I mean, you can see like little Jesus statues and, you know, it, it, they fucking look like, I mean, I love Kirk Cobain, but it looked like Kirk Cobain petting Kenny a fucking, G. yeah, Jesus looked, you know. They like, like Kenny G? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kirk Cobain or Kenny G. You just saw that. Over there too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just painted, just all sitting outside. You have to understand thousands of Christians, you know, come there for pilgrimage, you know, yearly or millions if, if not. And so, because this was like where she was, right? It's crazy. So, you know, they're going to come. Yeah. I would too. That's why I came. I wanted to see this shit. So I went in there, went into this building. Yeah, man. And it says amazing. no cameras, no fucking, no recordings and shit like that. It had it on the door and it said, you can't do it. And there was cameras inside. And I was like, all right, cool. No cameras. I, I did my little fucking prayer. You know, I was like, oh, man, this is like a holy space. I got to yeah. respect it. And, but then on the way out, on the way fucking out, I look to my left and I'm like, what the fuck is that picture? And I see like all these like Ethiopian looking or African looking people in this fucking picture. But it was like Jesus like people, you know, like it kind of had like the, you know, like the disciples and everything. Hair light, wool, skin light, bronze. And these halo. halo. Well, the difference is, is like this was a fucking picture sitting in there, like a really old picture just sitting there. There was no other pictures in there but that one. And it was like Jesus was laying laying down and they were all the disciples were sitting over him with like these halos around them, but they had fucking like afros and they were super fucking dark. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I, I, yeah. I, I was with another person and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what happened oh, to their skin? Shit. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I was kind of, I was confused for a second. I was like, okay, you, you hear people say shit like that, you know, and you, and you research things, you kind of, you have some theories on things, but you see that picture and you're like, why the fuck is that in here? That was weird. And so then I walk out and it had like a gold Man. gold or brass trimming. But this was the only fucking picture in there. And this has been there for a really long fucking time. And all the holy people from Europe and stuff wow. and whatever come there, you know, and, and they pray. Um, you know, I was like, what the fuck? And so I walk out and then every other Jesus that I saw was white as snow, like Nirvana. I love Kirk Cobain, by the way. But yes. <laughs> Nirvana. I, I was a big Nirvana fan. Fucking Dude. shout out to Kurt in Heaven. Oh, man. But yeah, I was just confused. I was like, Dude, I uh, I think I've seen that picture. I think I've seen that picture, man. I don't know how I, f I found it online, but uh, it obviously isn't anywhere else. I saw it one place, um, which you know, uh, but it also reminded me of you know hair like wool, skin like bronze. Um, well, I mean, it's I don't even. I'm, that's really awesome. You got to see that in person, man. I'm, I'm sure I know why. I just thought that was. Now, but I thought what it was. Did, what odd. did your friend say about? I was just there like it was, a tour guide or anything? Or? The, no, tour guide didn't come in with us. Um, we went in with another guy. Uh, one other guy, he was from Philippines. And then uh, my other Turkish uh, you know, friend, was. we all went in there. So we were like, what the fuck? I was like, hey, did you? I was like, what the fuck happened? I was like, did you see that? What the fuck is that? What, <laughs> what happened to his skin and why does he got That's afro? Like what Correct the me if I'm wrong, fuck? Bucko, I'm confused. <laughs> I, was just, I, I was just amazed that that shit was existing. And I was like, wait a minute. I was like, so they don't let you take fucking photos. Is it because of that? Uh, I'm pretty sure if I had to take a while, <laughs> call me crazy. <laughs> I was you just, know? I was perplexed. I was I confused. I was like, guess. wait a minute. You know, I was like, is it fucking this? Is it fucking this? It, and how many like people know said, about man, this? Once you realize you're a human and that no other human is special and that you're a human and that they're a human and your brain is a brain you know, minus other things that alter things, but it's not so crazy to imagine somebody saying, uh, let's just keep telling this story that we had going, even though we see that. And that's, yeah, that let's just, you know, I mean, you know, history is written by the victors and some people, if, you know, if the victor, you want the victor to look like you and that's, that's, that's the sad fucking reality. I um, mean, you, you, I mean, but, we, we do understand that the, the Romans, if, if something happened. Yeah. That was well, there you go. Yeah. But we do understand well, Daryl that the Romans go. are the ones who, I mean, who it. push the whole, you know, the whole Bible out to the masses, you know, they, they push it out. They're kind of the, the biggest publisher. Oh, yeah, for sure. So it's like, no, they, they didn't yeah, even believe I, in him at one time. So it's oh, like, how the fuck is that? So of course scary. he's going to start looking Roman. I mean, <laughs> that, <laughs> I mean, it's, so it's like, you know, everything turns to dust, man. Everything turns back to where it's from. We're all stardust. And, you know, and the, the scary thing is you're going to pay homage eventually. Um, it pays for itself. 
Um, you know, I y'all don't know if my kids will say it or our kids or, or I mean, whatever, however it goes, um, what's in the dark comes to light. But uh, it, it is going to be a, a scary time for for a lot of people when that. I like how you said. Light. I like how you said um, what, what, maybe, what. I like how you used that biblical reference. What what what's done in the dark um, comes yeah. to light, or you said what's what's dark come turns to light. That's interesting because we're talking about what was dark turned to light. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm big on energy, man. I don't, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Or that. Did you get it? <laughs> or, you know, hey, and it's like, yeah, I got it. That was real good. That was somebody's gonna love that one, <laughs> dude. That's, I mean, it's beautiful, man. It's like we come, we turn back into what we what we were from. Um, and I think you know, I don't know why that makes some people so uncomfortable. I just, I nobody's here to try to one up. But the reason why it is is because there's a colonialistic structure. And this structure has been brainwashed to every yeah, fucking person the in the world. Yeah. And if you don't understand that fundamentally, you don't get why the fuck things are. And you prescribe to this then team shit. Yeah. And so that is hey, why. I like how you broke it down, man. Bringing it back to that. Yeah. It's always that in the Western yeah. world. And the it Western is, world yeah, promotes that shit. And it's not everybody within the structure. Most people are victims to it. You can't point at, you know, Billy and Joel and fucking yeah, say okay. you're responsible for it. He doesn't fucking do it. There's some motherfuckers yeah. that sat around thousands of years. I mean, sorry, not thousand years ago, a hundred, four or five hundred years ago, and said, "Hey, how the fuck do we, you know, do what the Romans did to us and do it to the fucking world?" Oh, yeah, and it, it went top, yeah. it went top and, down, I mean, and then everybody and like else just said, followed, man, right? But, yeah, former follows function. Yeah, and, but most people yeah, are man, victims of it. We're just following it. Most people are not the people who are who are creating it. They're just sitting here, you know. It, somebody else made it, and they're just following it. And, and if you benefit from it, why the fuck not? Yeah, why not? Uh, and that's why I said, you know, at this point, it's already been so, it's so structured. It's work. It's been working for a long time. Um, so now it's like, you know, what do we do now? As uh, as the 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 aging human beings that we are now, and the and the awareness and the sense. I can tell you what I can tell you what that shit is. Where, where do we go from? Here's where we should go. We need to drop the bullshit. We need yeah. to drop this 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 fucking divisive <laughs> game. We need to drop this fucking colonialism. We need hey. to drop all this color and group shit and just fucking be people and fucking chill and have a good time and let's fucking collectively work and let's win let's and everybody be, be great win. That we're destined to be man yes but we're divided man we can't we can't Thank function like, properly what's so hard about everybody winning it's hard yeah, to do, man, it's, it's hard like, to like, envision that dude, I'm a, you know and it, it's it's hard though daryl to envision that when you've been brainwashed that you are uh, you're you're another group yeah. or you fit in with this group or you see th that's the fucking problem yeah. You can't think what you've been programmed to live like and to, yeah. and to believe it's, that is who you are. If you and even I'm a victim, man. We're victims, dude. Like we're fighting against being victims. I mean, we're mentally. Like I even I can feel the I can feel that there's like a cloud. Like I'm cloudy, you know. Like I don't feel that open. Like I'm not breathing the, the right oxygen. Like it's like everything is so diluted and 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 misconstrued. It's just so much going on, man. Outside of what really matters. That's what scares me. That's why I know we haven't learned our lesson from the past, man. I'm, you know, not trying to go off course again, but like I really do think that it's it's like in our nature to be to be this fucking, like I mean, excuse my French, but like to be this like we're being goofy, you know, as as human beings, we're being real goofy right now. And who wants to be? Who wants to feel that fear, man? Who wants to feel like internalize being at home? Like, well, if that person does this because the TV said they might, then I'm gonna do this or. I, like, you can't even live, like, you're not even, are you really living right now? Like, you're not living within your, I mean, you're living within the means that you're allowed to is is a scary thing in I mean, my own way to here, say that. Here's the thing is, um, here, here, let's think about this. Let's think about some, let's think about some fucking fun and some interesting shit. Maybe some fucking, you know, maybe the greys, yeah. maybe the aliens, maybe whoever are just sitting down here and they're just playing puppeteer and they're just fucking, they're just watching us like fucking TV. Meet the fucking... Meet the, the fucking meet the meet these people, meet these type of people, and they're all fighting each other. You know, they're all calling each other names, and they're all the same. But we're fucking, yeah. they're acting like they're different. They're just laughing and watching this shit. But also at the same time, it's a way to keep us fucking busy and not together and figuring out what time it is. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, do you think that maybe on that same note, uh, like you said with the whole watching, I, I I use the ant farm theory a lot. That's kind of something I rock with. Um. Or the etch sketch theory, which, you know, I think that we draw, we, you know, we, we do this, we do that, we get it going. It looks, it's a pretty picture. The only way to start, you know, you can't, you got to shake it up. 
So I think that whether it be cataclysmic activity or the greys or whether it be extra dimensional beings that exist, you know, people hear that shit and they get all afraid. And it's like, man, I'll get the whole CIA created terms, but just roll with it. You know, I think even in the Bible, other things that they were getting at, you know, Ezekiel's will or, you know, it came, you know, fire and brimstone. That sounds like technology to me. Like, you know, if you if you want to take that and keep running with it into other things, I mean, yeah. That sounds like technology to me. <laughs> I mean, you know, or like, you know, it's, it's it gets to a point. Yeah, it was. Yeah. In India. Yeah, the flying machines, man. That's things, man. That's look like flying saucers that to me. It looked it damn sure did to me. I mean, yeah, it's and, and that shit starts off a wave of what I've been going down. I've been fuck you can call it a rabbit hole, you can call it whatever you want, but I've flipped and tumbled down that hill so many times where it gets creepy, man. Like uh, like literally documents showing that, hey, yeah, you know, these things flew or, hey, these people were here. or Hey, they look like, I mean, cave drawings, like you can't erase that. And a lot of them did not look human to me. They were animals, you know, orbs glowing and all the written documents and scriptures, man. I mean, maybe it could I be, just think it's getting maybe it could be also Daryl. Maybe it could be just fucking experiment. Maybe it's just a fucking experiment round where, you know, they're just creating different types of humans and seeing which ones fucking work and, and, and improve different versions of them. Maybe we're fucking T2, oh. you know, and you know, it, it, it's, they just been, I mean, cause oh, you have, dude. how many, how many humanoids did oh. you have on this planet? You know, you had nope. Neanderthals, Denise you, you just know, hit that. you can keep on going on. And it's like, yeah. what happened to all of them? Some of them we blended yeah, in and mixed really with, but what the fuck's going on? That's, and that's why I, um, yeah, man, when you engineer something, like you said, I never thought about test runs, man. I never thought about that giants existing they wrote about that could have been a bad test run. I never thought about, you know, the Anunnaki, whatever. Maybe there were so many test runs where some people flourished and they got too big ahead of themselves and they said they thought they were gods. So maybe they were like, okay, we can't, you know, we, they, they were too dope. Let's start over. Let's, let's dial it back. You know, let's make them big. Maybe they'll just build some big stuff and, oh, well, that's too much. They don't last as long. Let's dial it back. You know, maybe we are T2 or T3. And um and now they're realizing that we are way too much because <laughs> now you know we're maybe we were almost good and now we're down here fighting about how we look and uh and who did what and now they're and, uh and who but maybe did what. but maybe that maybe and that's maybe like, that's well, still maybe we gave them too much maybe that's maybe that's a city on the hill but maybe that's also just consistently manipulated for that reason because they want to continuously keep us distracted you keep people distracted they're not going to really try to seek for the truth they're not going to really pay attention to what time it is. You know, we're, we're roughly, what, three-dimensional creatures? We only see yeah. it within three dimensions. Something that yeah. can see possibly in more dimensions, yeah, in barely. theory, could, could, yeah. could be walking right through us. Yes. That's when it gets spooky, man. Spirits and sounds and deja vu, all this stuff, man. I, I, I was a big lucid dreamer, man, like when I was younger. It was almost creepy. Like I would get out of a dream and literally say, okay, I'm dreaming now. What you want to do? Like you want to shoot a fireball or try stuff? <laughs> And, and I talked to friends and they were like, what do you mean you can do that? And this is before, you know, college. And I started opening my mind up, you know, I'm from a smaller town. So I would just roll with it. You know, whatever they tell you in church, you know. But uh, realizing that I have a lot of friends who are having the similar um, experiences. But then I had ones who were having out-of-body experiences, like, you know, self-astral projection and shit. Um, wow. And they would go to the T. They would give it in detail. So. Yeah, man, it's really cool to hear people talk about it because you look at them, people that really mean it, they're go, they're talking to you like they're they're really living the situation. They're not making it up, and in the look in their eyes, they're serious. They're, I mean, shit, but but with, but what do you say to and, people uh, out there? Said, but Daryl, but what do you say to people that you know is like, hey, man, maybe they're fucking smoking weed because they could have been smoking weed, or like or, you know, or they could be you know have some disorder. What do you think about that? What, what's going on? I would say, uh, I would say, you know, likely, st oh, yeah, of course you're going to use that, you know, but then I would say, but what if they weren't? Okay. You know, at the same, you know, you want to feel so passionate about this, this proving something, then I have that same energy about it being likely to be true. The only truth, you know, was taught to you anyway. If I'm right in front of your face right now, you wouldn't even believe it because right. your brain, I mean, that's condition that shows you're not entity. Uh, you don't, you might not be able to handle anything bigger than that. That's why you were given three dimensions. That's why you can't see, but um, certain spectrums and shit. Like maybe that's what we were meant to. It's, it's, it's not, we're not ready yet, or maybe we just can't do it. So that alone shows you it's bigger than us as humans. It's bigger than the world is bigger than us. And it's always been bigger than us. And, you know, um, I mean, I don't know where it's going to go and how much longer this experiment goes for our side, but it's not looking too good, man. Um, 
<laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's going to hit ahead. Technology, technology is already like it's 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 too far on. I mean, we might be a Skynet soon. I don't know, man. Maybe, like, all right, well, maybe 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 there's the third Skynet we've had. I mean, I don't know if you've heard this. There's, there's another theory out there that maybe for the so-called alien beings are you know future AI or some type of robots that we created or us in yep. the future, and it's like. It's possible. Oh, it's possible. I mean, we could have made wow. multiple. We could make multiple species That's... in the future that spread it out and can now just go back in the fucking future yeah. and do all kinds of shit. I mean, if AI machines can, you know, pretty much live forever, you know, they could. They have so much time on their fucking hands. That's very possible. Um, I have heard that theory. That's one of the top. I have like a I guess a top five, top ten list of theories that really hit hard. That was in my top five, I believe, because the future self aspect of it kind of scared me to think well you know if they see the grades whatever i mean you know evolving if evolution is the thing that they want to try to push right now and go on then yeah we'll, we would shed and get you know maybe the sun was too bright that's why our eyes you know evolved into being bigger because you know fucking ozone is fucked in, or we're on another planet now and we're coming back to visit the past and how we got to where we are i mean that's a really cool theory and it's possible because that means they don't want to intervene they're, they're just kind of like wanting to see what, what went wrong or maybe they just are that's what's scary. If they're popping up this often, then maybe this is the time where they're going back in time. Hey, I want to go back in time to right before they killed themselves or like <laughs> finished themselves off because we're seeing a higher increase in UFO activity and all other type of things. So, I mean, they've always been around through ancient times too, but maybe they want to their their time traveling. It's like a vacation. Like I want to see what went wrong. I want to come around that hundred year mark before they. Oh. Or maybe it's fucking conditioning. Maybe it's conditioning or getting people prepped up. Because I don't think overall, I don't think humans are ready to see any extraterrestrials. And I, I don't think bigger powers or bigger scientists yeah. are willing to, to actually even fucking admit it. I don't think they're, they're, they're allowed no. to admit it. You Especially know, you, after last year. No. Oh, no. I mean, you, you see big guys like, you know, yeah. some of my favorites, like Elon Musk and things like that, who are denouncing them. Or even some top scientists yeah. denouncing him, saying, well, we haven't had proof. Well, that doesn't fucking mean anything. And how do we know you're not fucking lying? Because it's like, Thank you're you. not going to fucking say that Thank if the government's going to fucking you? shut you down. Thank you. That's my go-to thing. Who are you? Yeah, who are you to tell me, like, outside of academia, who are you? I mean, granted, there's some things, okay, you're a doctor, cool. But it gets real fishy when it comes to other things where historians have to play. And it's like, okay, man, you know, a, a doctor can operate on me, and I know, okay, you earn that. <laughs> you know, you, you, I know you can do that. But you telling me that something is stupid isn't enough justification for me to think it's stupid. If I'm showing, if you can't prove to me without a reasonable, like, that that this person built this and other people are saying it's way older than that time than that civilization that you you're telling did it then it gets to that point where like you said i mean it's a human just telling another human nah man i'm better than you so just believe me trust me i promise it's true you know that's not enough it it, it is for some people it's, it's totally, not enough it's totally not enough and i totally get everything you're fucking saying i think it makes a lot of solid sense but i think the whole thing is in general us as you know a human species in general is like we're, we're, we're trying to figure and find ourselves, and I think that's a, a, a never-ending battle. And there's so many different things that we don't know, and I think yes. our curiosity is, you know, and, and our, 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 our desire is to know, right? We, we want to find out where do we come from, yeah. where do we go after this, all these mysteries, and, and it's actually scary, you know. You know, uh, we don't want to be forgotten. You know, we create things yes. so we, we're not forgotten. But then there's this reality that yeah. even this fucking planet or Earth is not even going to exist in a while. It's eventually going to just all disappear. So even all the history that we see here is going to have to disappear. So yeah. we're going to have to be, you know, multiplanetary and, you know, going to other galaxies and stuff like that. We can't just sit wow. here. Or we're, we are going to fucking, you know, d be destroyed. I mean, yeah. you have these people that are like, oh, well, you know, you know, we are going to perish. We're sending people to the moon, but, we, you know, they're starving people. Well, fuck, dude. You know, there's going to be no history or no humans if we don't fucking get to the <laughs> yeah. past the moon. Thank you. Get your priorities in order. We have there. There is room Let's for get there, our priorities in order. Right man. there's there's room for 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 error. Right, nothing can be perfect. There's always room for error, and we as a species need to get the fuck yeah. off of this planet if we ever want to talk about humans. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go, man. We're gonna be in the middle of writing our story, and fucking a solar flare wipes us the fuck out. Damn, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> yeah, when it yeah, happens, man, and everybody's like, "Why didn't we? Why didn't we figure that out?" For. Why don't we figure that out? Why don't we build shit? I don't know. But anyways, Daryl, I've yeah, got. I was on. I was on Fortnite. Oh yeah, of course you're on fucking Fortnite, motherfuckers. Yeah. But anyways, Daryl, it's been great <laughs> having you on the fucking podcast. 
we've got another show coming up right after this one. So yeah, man, it's a pleasure to be here, man. I'll definitely try to invite you back on another time. It's awesome. uh, I know we had some Great technical time, difficulties man. here earlier, and we Absolutely. were figuring shit out, and it was fun. Yeah, we had man. a little decent conversation. And, um, we'll pick up more of this later, man. But uh, thank you for coming up the show. Good Just, startup, man. Yeah, a thanks. lot more to discuss, man. It was an honor to be here, brother. All right, cool, man. Well, thank you Power so much. Mankind. I hope everybody. Yes. Open it up. Yes, all mankind, we love you. Womankind, every kind. Yes, we love you all. <laughs> every kind, every color, everything. Yes. All y'all, man. Yes. So just stay right here for a second. Everybody. Ladies and gentlemen. The Kids in the Room Podcast. The Kids in the Room Podcast. That's right. That's right. Brought to you by Moo Faces TV. Let's, Let's go. go.